guys, back again. So today marks the six months anniversary of um, starting this reef tank. It's actually a upgrade from the tank I had upstairs, which was a four foot by 18 inches tank that I had got from eBay second hand. It was a fish only tank with live rock and it had tons and tons and tons of live rock. So much so that I couldn't even fit the amount of live rock that it had with it back into the tank when I moved it. And these were the leftovers. So um, I'll put a couple of pictures up just to show what the tank looked like when I got it. This was me shattered after moving it. And this was it set up the next day. And these were the fish that had come along for the ride. And then as I progressed, I wanted to get into coral and stuff like that. This was my first anemone that split countless times. And this was when the coral addiction began. And this was the final look of the tank the day before I tore it down to upgrade everything into the new tank, which was heartbreaking. And then it just exploded into what you see behind me. So I'm gonna just go through everything that you need to do with sort of a six months maintenance. As I say, this tank's just reached six months now. So there's certain things that I've got to do, like involving taking like the skimmer out, giving it a really good scrub down, soaking it in some sort of vinegar or something just to get rid of any sort of calcium deposits, just so that everything can get running back to like its optimal its optimal state again, so it's like as good as new, just to keep on top of everything and to make the make the pumps last longer as well, because I think a lot of people just sort of set it and forget it and then the pumps crossed up over time and you just, you just lose the efficiency of the equipment and it's a shame because the equipment is very expensive. So um, I'm gonna take this opportunity just to show everything I do with a six months maintenance and I'm gonna show you what this tank used to, well, where everything inside this tank came from. Yeah, so this is uh, what six months worth of uh, grime looks like. So you can see this definitely needs a good, uh, Oh, a good scrub and then that'll be back to performing perfectly good as new hopefully <laughs> okay guys please don't actually do what I do but I'm actually giving it a bath and I actually use a bit of distilled vinegar and give it a really really good soak down for about two hours I just run it in here this skimmer is huge, so I don't actually have anything else in my house that I can actually fit it in. So I just run it. I mean, you will probably end up divorced if you do this in your own house. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. But yeah, obviously, if you do thoroughly bleach your bath afterwards, I would definitely say. So after one hell of a scrub, managed to get it looking a lot, lot better. So it's amazing what a bit of a soaking in some vinegar can do. And there we go, my gosh, it just looks so much cleaner. I can actually see it. <laughs> and it hasn't even overflowed, it's just gone straight back to as it does. Amazing. And here we are a couple of hours later and it's already started to pull out loads of funky gunk. I just love the way all of the mouths on this are really extending, it looks amazing. All of these corals are just looking absolutely outstanding at the moment. All their feeder tentacles are all, all going crazy. I really love seeing all the polyps extensions. I'm really trying to fight that purple star polyps. I keep taking a toothbrush to the rock, just trying to scrape away so that it doesn't smother any of the other corals.
These Gorgonians are doing really well. They've been in the tank just over a month now. And they've definitely, definitely gotten bigger. And there's definitely more heads. I just think the colours on this are amazing. It's really starting to encrust on the rock now as well. All my acros are starting to table out. My clam's got signs of new growth, really clean new growth. And just walking around the tank, everything looks so healthy. Definitely benefits from being in a bigger tank, that's for sure. And here's some old pictures of how my tank used to look. It's a bit different. And so that was it before. And this was when it was being built. They did such a good job, Aquariums for Life. And that was the day I put everything into it. And that was it six months ago. And then this is it now. Everything's looking amazing. I really couldn't be happier with how this tank's come along in six months. I'd say it's flourished. And so now the next job is to clean the pump. But I'm actually going to be upgrading this pump to a Neptune's pump. And that will be my next video. Alright guys, that's it for the six months update on this 1000 litre Aquariums for Life reef tank. Um, I think it's looking really, really good so far. So I'm really hoping that it just continues to thrive the way it has been. It's been a real joy. I absolutely love this tank. Um, thanks for everyone who's liked, commented and subscribed to this channel. It really, really means a lot. It makes spurs me on to do more videos. So if you haven't and you're thinking about it, please hit the subscribe button for more content all about my 1000 litre Aquariums for Life reef.